over the past week we've been talking a lot about animal characteristics and today's activity you needed to look at animal characteristics to match the adult animal with its offspring. So with your paper in front of you let's go ahead and check and see how you did. For looking at the top this is a crab and we can see that the offspring is a little bit different but we can still see those pinchers right here so that's a characteristic that tells us that those are the same. We can look at the penguin. The penguin offspring looks very, very similar. Let's drag that over, see if you got that one right. Here we have a dog, an adult dog, and here the puppy looks a little different. We don't have the spots, but we can see the tail. We can see the ears. We can see the two legs. We can see how it's sitting. Up here we have an adult whale, and here the baby, the offspring, looks very similar. They both have a tail and fins. The bear. Here we can see the cub. They don't look exactly the same, but they have fur. They have four legs. Here we have a mouse, and here we can see the baby mouse. Again, look at that tail. Look at the ears. Look at the whiskers. Frog, when we look at the frog, we know that frog's offspring look different. We know they start out as a tadpole, and then they change. We have the seal. We can match up, look at the fins. We have an alligator here, again, look at the scales, look at the long tail. Up here we have an eagle, here we have the baby eagle. We can look at the beaks, look at the beaks here, they are similar. And then if we're stuck on this one, maybe we could skip it, come down to this one. Here we have what looks like a flamingo, and again we can look at the, look at the fur on the outside look at the beak, look at the feet, and we know that this is an insect. It goes through metamorphosis and begins as a larva. So check and see how you did. Hopefully you got them all right.